Today we're gonna talk about 9 of the best Blender add-ons for creating vegetation, grass, trees and other things that can help you create beautiful outdoor and nature landscapes. We're gonna start off with True Terrain. If you have a landscape creation project or nature scene, this add-on got you covered. It has everything you need to create amazing environments in a short period of time. In addition to having a powerful and easy to use terrain generator, it also comes with lots of useful Blender assets, including up to 165 materials with an anti-tile feature for texture mapping. In addition to 65 trees, 100 plus rock assets, 8 grass species, and 4 different water types to create anything from realistic rivers, lakes, or oceans for your scenes. Also, to scatter all the objects of this built-in asset pack, the add-on is equipped with an updated GeoNode scattering system for Blender with all the optimization tricks and features, which means there is no need for third-party terrain tools. Furthermore, it allows you to bake your terrains to be used later on in other software such as Unreal Engine or Unity. Next, we have the Tree Vegetation add-on. This add-on features a large vegetation asset library. It includes 264 assets and 903 variations with up to 8K PBR textures, with every season version for each of them, from trees, shrubs, hanging plants, climbers, green walls, desert plants, stumps, garden or tropical plants, in addition to pots and rocks, just to name a few. Also, you have the ability to add moss to the trunk of your trees for even more unique and realistic results. In addition to the fact that the leaves and trunks can be animated with precision either by using the presets included in the add-on or doing it yourself manually. Either way, you're gonna be able to achieve stunning results with this add-on. Now we're gonna talk about Forestation, which is an add-on for Blender in the form of a large collection of high-quality 3D scan trees. It is aimed at designers, CG artists, archivist artists, and environment artists in general. It makes it extremely easy to import and customize a tree. This, in addition to animating the leaves, changing the season, adding moss, snow, and other stuff to trunks of trees, and you can create as much variation as you want using the randomize function. The add-on comes with 35 high-quality 3D scan trees, in addition to leaves and branches, however they are procedurally generated. The model and all the textures are fully compatible with Cycles and EV render engines. Not only that, because the add-on offers two versions for the tree, a high-quality version with maximum mesh and texture quality and a low-poly one for less polygon-heavy models for those forest backdrops. You can easily switch between low-poly and high-poly meshes with a press of a button. Overall, this is a great option to optimize your machine resources, especially for those who don't have strong machines. There is also an outstanding add-on for Blender that can help you bump up the quality of your work and take it to the next level, with an easy-to-use interface and a huge collection of assets, making vegetation in Blender much more easier. Grassplate gives you over 550 assets from grass, dry land, fields, flowers, pebbles, and rocky grounds. All of them are great and straight out of the box. The animal's flexibility lets you customize the grass even further. For example, you can adjust the height, size, randomness, color, seasons, etc. And with more than 200 different biomes, creating grass in Blender has never been easier. Like other popular add-ons such as Tree Vegetation and Grass Blade, Gardener allows you to create realistic and believable types of vegetation that can be found in gardens. Vegetation such as shrubs, bushes, and hedges. And the good thing is, as usual, you don't have to do the hard work, especially if this kind of stuff is not the focus of your projects, because the add-on does that for you easily. Gardener can be used by architects, designers, or 3D artists in general because its assets are of high quality. In addition, all of these assets come with high quality textures that can work with the PBR workflow. And when it comes to rendering, they are totally compatible with Cycles and Eevee. Generally speaking, the animal brings with it 350 assets from 39 variations of plants as well as 45 models of trunks and 96 biomes. These assets have been chosen based on popularity and how often they are used and needed in such visualization projects. We've also got a new and interesting add-on called Baga IV Generator, which is a tool used for rapidly generating and creating IV plants on surfaces with a lot of control and customization in a short period of time. 
It actually comes with a preset library that contains 120 assets of leaves and flowers in 30 different variations of ivy with parameters for each preset, which enables the generator to have the highest level of accuracy possible. Additionally, it creates by default an animated IV with a loopable animation. The interesting thing is that it is based on geometry nodes, so it will give you full control over the IV with a customizable generation of a large variety of vines and IV, and you can also control the leaves and flowers behavior. Moreover, it has a proxy system that can be used for better optimization, which is truly remarkable. Moving on, we have Nysarga, which is an add-on used by artists to get realistic nature scenes. It is an asset library that covers basically everything from trees, grass and palms, to weeds, flowers, and a lot more. Additionally, you can easily manage all the assets that are evenly dispersed over 18 different categories thanks to its dynamic UI. Furthermore, you will find different cool features that will help you massively. For example, you can tweak any asset as much as you want by making it editable and you can also snap the asset to the ground easily. Also, with just a few clicks, it is possible to change the season of the leaves and randomize the rotation and size of the asset to give it a random and genuine appearance. Additionally, it contains an easy-to-use scattering system that makes it possible for you to evenly distribute all the assets around the landscape, which is really interesting. Now we're gonna talk about Botanic, which is a huge nature library, and as far as I am concerned, it is the most popular library of optimized and realistic 3D vegetation, mostly for trees and grass. It features a variety of trees, grass, flowers, weed, palms, shrubs, and pots, in addition to other things for other environments. This animal can be used for architectural visualization, environment design, rendering forests, landscapes, or any other scenes that can use a bit of variety and greenery. You can do a lot of things with this add-on, but most importantly, you can make looping animations within 120 frames, for example, and you can populate selected objects with either pre-made particle presets of grass and weeds or create your own. Each asset has a render preview and can be easily added through the add-on. By default, the assets are linked, but you can also choose to add them as editable objects or convert them later. Adding new assets is very easy with this tree and grass library. You can create your own nature scenes with just few clicks by selecting the asset from the library. You can also use the snap to ground button to make sure all the trees are safely planted and avoid floating trees or dragging your trees on the ground one by one. There is also a feature to automatically randomize the selected assets so their rotation and scale differ, given the appearance of variation in addition to other features that are very useful. Alright, now we're gonna talk about one of the best add-ons in Blender in general, and it is called GeoScatter, previously known as Scatter. This is actually one of the most powerful scattering tools that you can ever use with Blender. It includes the right features to make the process of scattering stuff like vegetation and grass very simple and fast. In order to streamline the workflow, the add-on contains scattering presets. You can use them to get things done quickly and then easily adjust the result inside the tweaking area. Scatter add-on has a bonus starter pack of 80 pre-made biomes made out of 180 various assets. This allows you to make ecosystems that have a specific atmosphere and they allow you to create believable and realistic scenes in a very short period of time. You can also create non-destructive pathways in the grass. This means that the scatter add-on will allow you to create paths in the grass using splines and choose any length of the shape you want, in addition to the ability to go back and change it later in case you change your mind. The developers behind it have introduced a lot of new features and improvements as well as changing some settings. For example, the add-on now features the ability to do multi-surface scattering, a feature that was previously unavailable in any Blender add-on. Moreover, there is a better camera optimization available now, in addition to many many other features that you want to check out for yourself. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.